obviously viewers are in love with Jacob and Sam. Can you tell me about how you found Jacob and Sam and the process of deciding they were Louis and Lestat? Well, obviously, nine billion people audition. Kind of get down to like 10 actors that you like on both sides. The simple math of it is, is the second those two got into their Zoom rooms together, it was very clear something very dynamic was happening. On Jacob's side, you know, right, it's this sort of genuine warmth, kindness, humanity. Like you were like, okay, for, for a character who's going to make a number of questionable choices, how do you make them want to love him? And on Sam, I saw his face and I said, no fucking way. <laughs> no fucking way that guy, this chiseled, stupid, chiseled, you know, and his, and his locks and his dreamy eyes. And I was like, no, 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 no. And then I press play. <laughs> and uh, and he, he really knew how big we were going to go. It was wildly specific and subtle. It was, it was in his voice, right? There was something a little Jeff Bridges star man about it <laughs> that I was like, oh, this guy feels like an alien, and he feels other than us. Mm -hmm. They both won the audition. That's basically what happened. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Although I'll tell you, here's a dirty secret. Ready, ready for this? Uh -huh. Sam bought this piece of technology that you can do a push-in close-up <laughs> right when the scene is getting a little juicy. And I just started laughing my ass off. I was like, oh, my God, this guy wants this so hard. <laughs> but you, were, you called me at the first time you had seen Sam. And you were just so excited about the potential of this guy. And you basically said, he's going to be next to impossible to beat. And sure enough, he, nobody, uh, nobody could really touch him. But you, from the very first time you, uh, you saw his audition, you were pretty convinced that we had our Lestat. Mm -hmm. 